on VGC. Uh, I'm not, I haven't played competitive VGC um, at any tournaments, but I've been playing a lot online. I used to play competitive Pokemon TCG and with Sword and Shield, I played, uh, you know, I started out playing series one, series two, series three. And now that we're on a new series, I thought I'd give this a go. Um, this is my first time streaming or uh, recording any of this. And so let me know if you guys have any helpful comments or tips. Uh, this is just a way for me to showcase some of my cool teams and just talk it loud and kind of talk about my strategy. And hopefully that makes me a better player and hopefully that helps you with the game. Um, so without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Um, on the screen, you'll see a team I've been working on. Uh, initially, when I was playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, I used uh, Gyarados and Raichu, that main core, and I found it really good, uh, really beneficial. Now, uh, with the new series, with new Pokemon, with Urshifu, and a new format like Cinderace and Rylaboom, uh, I don't know how well it's going to perform, but I've made some adjustments. I've added Urshifu. The dark type um, with Wicked Blow, just for more offense. Um, I added Lash Out on Incineroar. Incineroar is there just for the Intimidate, helpful Intimidate. And then I've added my Low Tick for the competitive boosts. A lot of this, of my attackers on this team are physical attackers. And so um, I pair, you know, Gyarados with my Low Tick or Urshifu with my Low Tick to, in case they send out an Intimidator, my low tick gets a boost and can kind of sweep with Coil, Muddy Water, and Hypnosis. Tokius is on the team, like, because it's on most teams right now, just for follow me support. It's a more offensive Togekiss with Super Luck and Scope Lens and Heat Wave. Um, that's just uh, for balancing. I can usually sometimes Dynamax it if I don't Dynamax Gyarados. But like I said, the core of this team is Raichu and Gyarados, mainly Gyarados in most. Uh, matches i found that i've been dynamaxing gyarados just because it's so powerful once i get off an airstream uh, with the moxie ability it can usually just steamroll opponents raichu is another common lead just to protect gyarados because he's four times weak against lightning uh raichu's ability lightning rod redirects lightning from gyarados protecting it also can nuzzle and fake out nuzzle is helpful for uh speed control because this team really doesn't have any it's not a trick room team it doesn't have tailwind the main form of speed control is nuzzle through raichu and a max airstream with gyarados or togekiss um so that's basically the team the team uh code is on the screen and i'll leave a link to it as well let me know your thoughts let me know um if you know if there's any additions you think would be uh, worthwhile and let's see how it goes um, I haven't played any matches uh, in this new season, um, but we'll see um, if this team performs well. Yeah, um, be sure to leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm new to the whole this, uh, YouTube, reading, Twitch, all this. Uh, so any helpful advice you have um, would be greatly appreciated. Um, you know, I'm on Instagram, don't really have that many followers. Uh, I do, uh, participate in TikTok. Um, I like, uh, choreography, dance videos. And so I do some of those there. Um, and yeah, I think this channel and most of my videos will be Pokemon centric, uh, cause I grew up playing Pokemon. I love it. Um, but okay. Uh, without further ado, let's get within our first match. Uh, we have Porygon Z, which is scary in this format. Very big powerhouse and another Urshifu. We may have Talonflame for Tailwind support and Clefairy and Togekiss, which is rare. Kind of a supportive team. I'm thinking they're going to lead Porygon, Z, and maybe a Talonflame or Clefairy for support. Probably Togekiss, maybe. I want to lead Urshifu because Urshifu uh, pressures Togekiss and Porygon. Hmm. Who else? They don't have really Intimidators, so my low tick doesn't really isn't really helpful in this matchup. I think I'll lead Gyarados. Um, in case... Uh, I think an Incineroar Intimidate will be helpful against Urshifu and Axie Drill. 
I'll have Gyarados in the back. They don't really have a Lightning Bolt user, so I don't really need Raichu. And so I'll just have Togekiss for support, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I saw that uh, Cheesemeister started following me. Really appreciate that. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully we'll get more followers soon and whatnot, but without further ado, let's our, have our first match. Yeah, like I said, I, I was worried about Porygon Z. It's a good lead. Um, with this, I can either fake out Togekiss to prevent Follow Me and go for a close combat on Porygon Z. Alternatively, yeah, because he's got a Dynamax. He's got a Dynamax Porygon. The issue is do I Dynamax and go for a Max Knuckle? I think I do. And I want to fake out Togekiss to prevent a follow me for Eon. I Dynamax first, which is a good sign. I don't think they're going to Dynamax for Eon Z. Um, I'm not too familiar with how fast it is. I know it uses, you know, max normal for speed control. Um, and my Urshibu is pretty fast, so maybe they're still Dynamaxing. Yep, Dynamax. That's what usually Porygon Z uh, teams usually just lead Porygon Z, Dynamax straight away, and, you know, click Max Normal over and over again. We'll see if I can withstand a Max Normal. Um, Hagar comes out, good, protects from Follow Me, and other. I get the attack off first, raising the attack of both Incineroar and Urshifu, which is great. Oh, you, I probably should have just close combated. Close combat, I would have taken it out uh, from the get-go. Um, so that's surprising. Yeah, Max Strike. I should, Urshifu should live this. Oh, I guess not. Oh, no. Um, that is not good, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I definitely should have close combated uh, in that scenario. I think there's a life orb. That makes sense. A life orb knockout makes sense. Um, I was going to say, Urshifu should live those. Um, what I'm worried about now is uh, another follow me. So I'll lead Togekiss just to get damage off, at least, to, to, uh, to Porygon Z. Even if it follows me, Dazzling Gleam will go off. That'll be nice. Um, you know, Lash Out? Yeah, Lash Out's probably the best way to go for this. Uh, no, Flare Blitz. Just because Togekiss resists that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with Flare Blitz on Porygon Z in case uh, Togekiss doesn't follow me. But follow me comes out. Flare Blitz uh, with the attack increase from Max Knuckle should do a good chunk of damage. Max Strike uh, into probably... Oh, no. That is so strong. That is so strong. Porygon Z is going to be tough to deal with. And, you know, this is just demonstrating its power. Um, we'll pick up the knockout, which is good. Uh, so now, you know, both of us have lost Dynamax, but uh, it's 2v3 at this point. You know, I love my Gyarados, but I don't know uh, if it'll be able to uh, beat what it has in the back. You know, if they have Exit Drill, that's great. I'm not too worried about that. Um, most of its uh, the team members were supportive. Talonflame, I'm not too worried about. We'll see what they have in the back. Extra drill. Okay, that makes sense. Extra drill has mold breaker, not something I'm really worried about. Um, hmm. Probably a rock slide's coming out, so there's no point in following me. 
uh, Dazzling Gleam just to break the Sash, and Waterfall. I think that's going to be our best bet. Um, this Gyarados uh, is pretty defensive, and so should be able to uh, live a Rock Slide. Um, crit's unfortunate, but, you know, it happens. Now, hopefully we just don't get flinched. If we don't get flinched, uh, you know, Extra Drill should go down. So that's good. Focus Sash. The speed drops uh, really hurt. Um, See, so yeah, I got a crown on the opposing toy guess. Really hurt. But, um, yeah, that's why speed's so important. And maybe maybe this team should have a better form of speed control. Um, but usually, you know, Clefairy's our last. Clefairy actually can't do much damage in this scenario. Um, you know, the opposing Dazzling Gleam might might just do it for my opponent. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, helping hand Dazzling Gleam. Smart. Um, but this is the first match. Um, I, th I, I definitely should have close combated. Um, I'm new to this series, so we'll see uh, if I can learn how to use this team. Um, like I said, I used this team previously in the different format without Porygon Z and Urshifu and whatnot, and it did pretty well. Um, but I'm still learning VGC, and so yeah. Um, I'll probably just do uh, two or three matches uh, a day. Um, and go from there but hopefully we'll get to master ball rank uh pretty soon yeah uh that's unfortunate but um we should be able to get master ball pretty soon um depending on how things go um and let's get into our next battle Ooh, a rain team i wonder if that's water or dark or shifu it's probably water or shifu but uh yeah, against Rain, um, I mean, Gyarados and Raichu, I think, are just great leads. Raichu, you know, pressures pretty much everyone on this team. Uh, Gyarados resists a lot of this team, uh, really isn't concerned about being in the Rain. They don't have an Intimidator, so Milotic probably isn't the best. Milotic isn't doing good damage across the board. Probably Urshifu um, and Togekiss. Togekiss has Heat Wave, and a lot of Togekiss right now aren't running that, and so that's probably going to be surprising if I do run up against Incineroar. Uh, Urshifu also damages uh, Scizor and other people for a lot, so I think I'll just go with this. Intimidate doesn't really help me, except for, like, you know, Scizor and Urshifu. But I think they're leading Rain. Uh, so yeah, let's try this. You know, another another thing I'm just realizing about this team, you know, it really doesn't really have any weather support, and weather's big now with Venus or Sun teams and these rain teams now with Politoed and Kingdra. You know, my my strategy against weather teams is just you know let them have the weather maybe set up weather with gyarados or um you know togekiss with heat wave gmax uh flare okay it's gonna be blastoise and togekiss i wonder if it's a follow me and a a shell smash coming out i could fake out to prevent that I actually don't know if it Dynamaxes. And I could do G Max. You know what? I'm just going to nuzzle because I'm worried about the Shell Smash and I think that's protected anyway. I would max. Mm. Hmm. I'm going to nuzzle and max Waterfall. Togekiss. You know, I thought about uh, G maxing grass, but I was afraid about the follow me. So this way, you know, I automatically get damage off on Togekiss, which is annoying. Um, hopefully, I get a nuzzle off of against Blastoise that will decrease its 
you know, even if it gets shell smashed off, it'll decrease its speed significantly and I should just be able to pick it up. Um, I didn't want to attack Blastoise because I didn't know if it was a Dynamax. Okay, then there's a follow me. And so I think that's the right call. Uh, I also could have Airstreamed. Um, but that nuzzles. Uh, super clutch. I love nuzzling. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, Max Geyser comes out. I could have Max Airstreamed, and that's probably the better play. Um, that just does a ton of damage. Right, you should be able to pick up the knockout next turn, even if they follow me. Um, uh, that shell smash. Maybe, yeah, fake out would have been would have been better. Yeah, fake out and an airstream into Togekiss. I think that's probably the play. I'm gonna volt switch the Blastoise. And Max Airstream. I mean, yeah, Blastoise now has more power, but I mean, so what? Uh, I'll just Max Overgrowth it, actually. Or do I Airstream? Hmm. I think I'll Max Overgrowth. I'm, I'm really not expecting a Protect from Blastoise, but if they get a Protect from Blastoise, I mean, that's that be pretty clutch. Um, we'll see. No, a Dynamax from Blastoise. That makes sense. Uh, you know, I, I'm not too familiar with G-Max Blastoise. I mean, it just does the extra Hydro Cannon damage. Uh, I don't think they, you know, have a way to damage Gyarados. But I might be wrong. I don't think they have Max Rock Call. All of me comes out. Uh, Raichu will get the Volt Switch, which is great, and then Max, um, yeah, they just go for Raichu, and my Raichu has a Sash, not too worried about that, um, yeah, I'd say this is a great turn. Special de Defense fell, um, that's unfortunate. But now, you know, uh, you know, Gyarados uh, has his lowest special defense, but now we can just send out Togekiss to protect Gyarados, um, you know, with follow me support. And I think we should be good. We'll see how much this G-Max uh, grass does. I mean, 50%, which is great. Um, so another one should knock it out. Uh, if I can, yeah, just follow me, sack the Togekiss, you know, he might not even be able to, no, well, he'll probably knock out, um, Togekiss, uh, with the shell, with his increased attack, uh, increased special attack, sorry, excuse me, um, but another Max Grass should be able to pick up the knockout against Blastoise. I mean, he might protect, um, but I don't think that even, you know, that just delays the inevitable, I think. So yeah, follow me to protect Gyarados and grass into Blastoise. Now the train, grass trains, yeah, max guard, that makes sense. Um, Polytoids probably might go for a Sing, and that might be, uh, Maybe I should have read into that protect. I see wind. You know, I'm not. I'm not concerned about that. Uh, he's already. He already had the speed advantage, or they already had the speed advantage. Um, they're not too concerned. So I do lose the Dynamax, um, which is unfortunate. But with the terrain set up now. I mean, the only thing I'm worried about is Power Rip has 85% accuracy, but it's still 120 damage uh, in the grass uh, with the grassy terrain set up. This should be able to do it. Yeah, in the rain. Um, that's definitely going to take out Togekiss. Poor Togekiss, but uh, it did his job well. I guess the Vortex doesn't damage water types, right? Oh, 
doesn't get the knockout. That's unfortunate. Oh no. Mm, frustrating. But, um, you know, that happens. Uh, and yeah, like I said, still learning. Um, a lot of these Pokemon I haven't come across before. G-Max, Blastoise, uh, looks way cool and apparently does a lot of damage too. Um, definitely shouldn't have let it got the Shell Smash off. Uh, Fake Out was probably the way to go. Now with this... I mean, I guess I'm really just worried about, yeah, I mean, I'll power it. It's probably going to go into Gyarados. Um, and at this point with the special defense drop, oh, with Helping Hand, yeah, should be able to pick up the knockout against Gyarados. But we'll be able to trade Ice Beam. Oh, clutch. Uh, Gyarados hangs on with six health. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, Urshifu, uh, picking up the knockout against Blastoise. See, Gyarados, uh, Solfest Gyarados. This is why I love Solfest Gyarados. Uh, even with the special defense drop, uh, lives that. Um, and that's fantastic. Uh, Water Vortex, um, yeah. Clutch that Gyarados, yeah, it doesn't get hit by that either, or else it would have gotten a knockout too. Um, so let's just see what they have as their last Pokemon. Yeah. Um, I'm getting comments that uh, I think my, my Switch audio is going in and out, which is unfortunate. Hopefully I'll be able to fix that shortly. Um, I guess I'm just worried about their opposing Urshifu. It's probably going to be a speed tie. Okay, I mean, I won the speed tie. That's great. Um, ah, that's unfortunate. And I think Polytoad moves faster than my Gyarados with the speed drop. Maybe an Earthquake would have been better there. I mean, I doubt with Grassy Terrain up, that would have been enough to knock out. No, I guess Earthquake maybe would have been the play. And he probably just had the Aqua Jet now. Oh, I still have Raichu. I totally forgot about Raichu. Raichu's gonna win this for me. Oh, sweet. Oh, great. Uh, the great thing about, yeah, I was wishing I had priority and here's priority for me. Fake out. He might uh, protect, but I think that just delays the inevitable. I can't. I think I'm just gonna bounce. I'm really afraid of power whipping missing. Uh, what's the disadvantage of bouncing? Nothing really. Yeah, because he attacks first. Yeah, I'm just gonna bounce. I think that's the safe play. Even if he protects, yeah, he attacks, but he can't uh, protect against uh, a bounce on the next turn. I mean, he could try for a double protect, but um, even then. Right, you should be able to eventually pick up the knockout. Ah, oh, totally forgot about Ganonade. Um, wow, this this match was so close. I mean, if he gets the double detect, um, he wins. But we'll see. Yeah, bounce is definitely the play there. Yeah, coming down to the wire. Wow. Oh, and he gets it. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I mean, there was no other play. There was no other play. But, um, yeah, I mean, that happens in Pokemon. Double protects. I mean, that was a smart play. Um, so, might as well go for it. Um, but, yeah. 
Uh, that match was much closer than the previous one. Uh, so I think I think we're doing something right. Uh, we'll go with one more match and see if I can uh, at least pick up a win. You know, at, at first, uh, I thought uh, Water Urshifu was going to be just well overused, uh, more so than Dark Urshifu. And so when I was doing the playthrough, I chose Water Urshifu. Um, but then I decided as more teams, hey, let's let's check out our team. Um, it's Water. Um, yeah. Heat Wave on their Togekiss, nice. The same setup I have. No dual wing beat. Okay. No, great team. Props, props to, props to them. Um, let's do one more battle and see if we can get a win. Ah, oh. that's okay. We'll get to Master Ball eventually. Cloud, yo, ooh, very interesting team. Uh, Espeon, I mean, friends of the channel know that, uh, yeah, I love Eeveelutions. Uh, Umbreon's probably my favorite, but Espeon's great. It probably has Magic Bounce for Intimidate. Hmm. It all, it's also looking like a Trick Room team with Mimikyu and Ndidi. Um, You know, I like the Raichu Gyarados team uh, lead from last time. I think it also matches up well against uh, Cinderace. Um, I really want to feature my low take. I'll probably feature my low take in one of the other episodes because I think my low take's well underplayed right now. And for the last slot, I'm thinking either Togekiss or Ensign. Ensign, if I'm really worried about Cinderace, and Togekiss, you know, just puts in work against all these other people. I'm mean, leaning Togekiss. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so Espeon and Didi. So it, it might just be some Psychic Spam going on. Um, you know, I can't fake out because uh, of Psychic Surge, but still put in work. Um, I'm actually going to Volt Switch. Yeah, because I don't really need a Nuzzle these. Raichu isn't doing much work. I'll try to knock out the Espeon, but I think there's going to be a Follow Me out coming. And I'm gonna airstream. Well, hopefully we can pick up a knockout uh, against Espeon. We'll see. I mean that 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 crown is kind of gaudy, but uh, it took me a while to get it because I didn't know anyone else with a uh, a shield expansion, and so I just had to surprise trade to get um, the final few Pokemon like Heracross that I couldn't come across, and I finally got one. Um, okay, Helping Hand, Espeon. Yeah, not too concerned about that. Uh, Gyarados takes that. Um, yeah, it breaks Raichu Sash, but um, I should be able to knock out this Espeon with a max Airstream. And now, um, I guess I'll lead Urshifu. Yeah. Urshifu is a good way to dealing with NDV. Wicked Blow knocks it out um, pretty swiftly, unless they have Focus Sash. Perfect, yeah. Um, we get the Airstream off, we kill the KOS Beyond, and so that's basically just like a Dragon Dance. And this is what you want with the team. You lead Raichu, Gyarados, Gyarados Dynamax, you pick up an easy knockout, and now you have plus one speed, plus one attack, and you can kind of just barrel the rest of the team, hopefully. Um, Cinderace comes out. 
Now I don't know the speed calcs. Um, I wonder. I think plus one Gyarados should outspeed. But in case it doesn't, I could max Rock Fall. Hmm. I'm actually just gonna max Geyser. Max Geyser. Yeah. I expect a Dynamax and a Follow Me. Um, even if it's sashed. Yeah. I did Geyser just to change the weather. Um, you know, eventually it might want to set up a uh, Pyro Ball and, and just start clicking Pyro Ball. Um, helping Hand. Okay, I think we should outspeed with Airstream now. Perfect, great knockout. Um, I love how it's always critical hit. Now let's just see if we outspeed Cinderace. If we do... Yeah, that should be game. Great. Awesome, that's exactly what you want to see. Um, so yeah, this is a hyper-offensive team uh, with some support where like Milo taken and Toei Kiss, but... Um, what you really want is just to uh, lead Raichu Gyarados. Gyarados Dynamaxes most of the time. Uh, sometimes I Dynamax Tokus, sometimes Dynamax Urshifu. Um, and then, you know, you bring Urshifu or Incineroar or Togekiss uh, in the back uh, to pick up anything else you missed off. Um, but yeah, I'm glad uh, we kind of got to showcase how this team's supposed to run. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, let's just easily let Iron Head and, I mean, I guess, uh, yeah, Max Geyser might win as well. Um, that'll break the disguise, and yeah, Gyarados taking three knockouts. That's exactly what you want to see. Yeah, um, so this will be our final match of the day, but thank you all for tuning in. Um, be sure to connect with me, uh, comment, like, subscribe, tell me how I'm doing, tell me what you want to see. Um, and yeah, as I learn, hopefully you'll learn something new and we'll keep it going. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.